Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing another November daily video with you from days 18 through 24. Almost done. Um, I wanted to finish all of the pages in this video, but it was just going to end up being way too long if I did that. So um, it's pretty close, but there will be one more video after this. And also I'm working on my December album now. So it's really just however quickly I can get these videos uploaded. Um, but I am still continuing to have a lot of fun with the November album, and I'm really glad that I did it, even though I feel like I'm running a little bit behind, but that's okay. Um, on day 18, it was my 10,000 day birthday, which I didn't know, but my husband told me, Casey, and he just said, hey, that's your 10,000 bir day birthday, maybe we should do something fun. And so um, we had an idea to pick 10 things to do, but in the end, we um, ended up just being... A little bit tired um, and just kind of wanting to hang out together at home but we did buy some tickets to see Waitress the musical on um, it's the Broadway touring musical and Waitress is one of my favorite movies so we really wanted to check out the musical and my friend uh, my blog friend Audrey um, she told me that it was great because she saw it in Ohio so we went ahead and got tickets and it was a really fun time um, so I'm just doing a little bit of journaling there with some of the photos from the day. Um, I just printed them at 3 by 2 size and did a little bit of lettering. And don't worry, I'll show the photos at the end. Um, but I just wanted to make these quick since um, it is December now. <laughs> so for day 19, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um, we took a walk around our neighborhood and we ended up noticing kind of a lot of things that we've never really seen before and that was just one of the gratitude challenge things to take a walk um and it was just kind of funny how mindful like how different it is when you're being mindful that you see things that you've never noticed before so that was kind of fun and we found this pretty um tree with berries on it and I think yes my video <laughs> my phone dies there so um you can just see that I added a strip of paper and a little bit of journaling after the title there so it's pretty simple the next day um we took my younger sister to the airport and it was just a really stressful day <laughs> they ended up missing their flight and um there were just some like communication things and I was just it was very stressful so in my gratitude journal for that day, the thing that I was grateful for was her smile because even though it was a horrible um, day, she <laughs> was a trooper and um, she played with Casey at dinner and I just like these pictures of them um, thumb wrestling. So I'm probably going to put some journaling in that pocket that I left open at the top um, later, go back and do some journaling for later. But um, yeah, just adding some strips of paper at the bottom and some three-dimensional sort of um, letters there. Those are the Amy Tangerine letters. In between the photos, rather than cutting them, I decided to use that skinny washi tape from One Canoe 2, which I really love. And then I'm now using some new stamps that I bought from Kelly Perky on Black Friday. Um, I bought the Sweater Weather one, um, Smells Like Snow, and then one of her traveler notebook um, one of her traveler's notebook kits which had a um, really neat stamp set in it as well I can't remember what it's called but I'll link them below because they are definitely still online as far as I know I also of course stocked up on the white alpha <laughs> that I constantly am using so we should be good to go for most of next year at least um, on the next day my sister came over and she brought my nephew and we just kind of spent some time together because we were both feeling pretty stressed from all the family stuff and missing the plane at the airport and all of those things. So um, we just hung out that night and my nephew has started to crawl. So that was kind of fun. And he was all over the place and chasing the cat. And um, it was good just to see each other. It doesn't happen as often as it probably should, but it was nice. Um, I am using the Memento Dew Drop ink and it is called Rhubarb Stock. And I'm using another new um, Kelly Perky stamp there and then just adding some tape and layering some paper scraps together to add some color um, above this photo um, 
yep just kind of using up those scraps as much as I can since I'm getting close to being done here um, I'm sure I can use the scraps for other things but I wanted to use as many here as I could I found this acorn ephemera from one canoe two um, which was kind of the perfect embellishment and I decided to go ahead and put um, the day that it was the 21st inside of the acorn which I really love how that turned out um, at this point I've not used multiple pages for any of the days yet so I have a lot of pages left in my albums and I decided to add a few filler things here and then um, I will at the end of the albums as well but I just want to do a thanks like a pre-thanksgiving checklist which is kind of something I did in October for Halloween just to kind of write out the things that we wanted to do or needed to do before that holiday um, and you can see I started writing it out and then I messed it up so just turned it over and started again um, but just kind of all the baking we needed to do the things we needed to remember to take with us to Thanksgiving um, those kinds of things and also the television shows we wanted to watch we like to watch all the Thanksgiving episodes of New Girl and the Gilmore Girls Thanksgiving episode, which I will maintain is the best um, episode of Gilmore Girls, period. It's my favorite. So um, I just kind of wanted to put those little things on there, like our different traditions. I'm using one of the circle cut pieces from my pretzel spread, and I just added a little flower and a tiny bit of washi tape. Again, I'm sparing you the lettering, but this is actually from the movie Waitress, which for some reason they did not put that in the musical, which I thought was kind of a lost opportunity since it's actually a song already. Um, but we made our pies that day, and so I thought the quote, gonna bake a pie with the heart in the middle was perfect for the page. I just layered some washi tape at the bottom, and I'm sticking down my photo, just looking for some embellishments trying to use up more of these word and phrase stickers um i think because i'm keeping it more simple i just have quite a lot of them left so just looking for places to use them i get out one of my new christmas stamp sets from kelly perky that i bought probably in september and um there's one that says homemade and the o is a little heart and so i wanted to use that on this pie um, page, which I knew I would, so that's why I kept it out. Um, and I'm just kind of looking to see what else I want to put down with it. Again, using my, um, zig glue pen to stick that down. And just kind of erasing a little bit, um, since I sketched that in pencil first. I have these Amy Tangerine cutouts here that I've really been wanting to use in this page is perfect for it because it's um, dark enough that it'll show up really well. And since it says happy, I'm just going to spell out Thanksgiving here with the small Kelly perky white alpha. And I've actually now started on my new letters because the N's and the E's um, were gone. <laughs> So I didn't get to finish that one, but it basically looks like you would expect it to look. I didn't add anything else to it. Um, the next day was Thanksgiving, and we spent the day with um, Casey's family, and they're not super big on taking a lot of pictures um, as a family, so I mostly just have pictures of the food and the table, um, which is okay. It's nice and simple, um, and I'm just adding this strip of this tear strip from the 12 by 12 paper pad with the wood grain, wood floor kind of look to it. Um, if you saw on the last page, I tried to use this washi tape, but it kind of tore unevenly. So I saved the piece on my mat and I'm just using it here to add some color, some pink to the side, but it does have the punch in it. So I'm looking for something that will cover up that little punch spot. So just checking out some of my old leaves and different stickers and things to see what will fit well in that spot. And these leaves are from a beautiful mess from a messy box last year. So I'm kind of going to do sort of a layered collage of elements and I'm using the Amy Tangerine Alpha again. Um, that heart is from One Canoe 2. 
and I'm using a word and phrase sticker from Studio Calico, which I think those are sold out now. I think they're gone. <laughs> um, I wanted to add those photos to this page, but the pattern was just a little too busy for the photos, so I'm going to use one of my new stamps from the Kelly Perky Traveler's Notebook Kit, and I will link it below because I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I stamp it on a piece of a glassine bag and then tear off the bottom and cut it down to size so that I can um, staple it on this page since it's so busy. Um, I just, I don't want it to be too distracting. So I just put two staples there and then I'm going to cover them up on the back side with these photos. Um, I just took some screenshots from, uh, from Google of the different New Girl episodes that we watched. There actually is one more Thanksgiving episode, but we didn't end up watching it because it's from the newest season and it just isn't isn't quite as funny as the others. Um, but Casey is obsessed with New Girl and he loves to watch it. And so um, we try to watch all the Thanksgiving episodes every Thanksgiving week. Just adding some bronze washi tape or copper washi tape to the sides, and then I have my photo from Gilmore Girls, which I actually um, printed last year for my Gilmore Girls spread, um, but I just didn't end up having enough room for it, but I knew I would use it because we have to watch this episode <laughs> every year, um, and it's of Suki, which I just think is, it's one of the funniest parts in that whole episode, and it really is, it's just the best one of <laughs> all the Gilmore Girls that exists. Um, so I spared you the lettering. Again, I'm using this um, 3x3 Project Life card, and I just wrote out, am I laughing or crying, which is something that Suki's asking in this um, part of the episode. I added the other uneven piece of washi tape that um, got messed up when I was trying to use it the first time, and I'm adding some word and phrase stickers from Studio Calico and some plus signs from One Canoe 2 before I stick this down. And I just want to add something to it so it doesn't look so empty on the edges, but I'm not really sure what. I try all kinds of things, but I just don't <laughs> like how it looks. Um, I, find, I have a really hard time with the triangles. I feel like I shouldn't, but I just do. <laughs> Um, so eventually I just decided to sketch a little border on it, and I actually think that that looks okay. Um, it kind of takes care of the problem, uh, which is awesome. And then I just add white alpha numbers to the corner, um, of each of these photos to show the order that we watch them in. And then that page is done. So this is the last set of spreads for this video. Um, the day after Thanksgiving, Casey really wanted to put lights up on the house, and so he was on the ladder, and his parents were helping, but he did most of the um, climbing. It was a little bit nerve-wracking, but he did a great job, and it looks really awesome on the house, all lit up. So I just wanted this spread to kind of have some pictures of him on the ladder and with the different clips that he was using to put the lights on the house, and then also how the house looked. I'm going to do some journaling in that one as well, so I put the little paper clip on the open top of the bottom photo, just to remember to put the journaling in there later. And now I'm just looking for some color on the page. I don't want too much pink, um, since it's pretty much just him in the pictures. <laughs> so I'm looking at this wood veneer and these little chunks of the logs. Um, and I have these old beautiful mess buffalo check um sheets or I guess they're like washi strips and then some of them also say like love or whatever and I think the house looks really great so I decided to use that and then I just layered those two wood pieces together with the scraps of the washi when I trimmed it and I think it looks perfect that way I really like it um and the next page is just a picture of the cats, and they'd each set underneath one of my in-laws' trees in the same exact spot. So I'm just writing out here, twinning, and I actually must have been really tired because I spelled twining. Um, don't worry, I fixed it. <laughs> um, sometimes that happens. It's good that things are um, repositionable. <laughs> and I'm just adding some more scraps of paper to kind of round that out at the bottom and make it look a little bit more interesting and then also some washi tape. 
but I am pretty happy with how these pages turned out. Um, I just add some more A Beautiful Mess um, washi strips on this page from the same set, and then I use some Studio Calico word and phrase stickers before it's done. So now you get a closer look at um, day 18. I like how the lettering turned out, and then it has some journaling since I haven't been doing very much of that. Um, I love how the photos of Casey and my sister Olivia turned out, um, and how simple the walk page is on the other side. Um, here's a closer look at it since, <laughs> since the video wasn't there. Um, but I love how the swashy tape worked to divide the photo even though I didn't cut it up. Um, and I love how this little acorn worked on this spread with my nephew. I just think it's so cute. And here's my Thanksgiving checklist as well. Um, just all the things we wanted to do during Thanksgiving. And my pie, which was so good. <laughs> I'm just loving how this album turns out and that it's mostly simple, um, but it still records all of those moments that I want it to. And I can go back and add a little bit of journaling on some tags, but it's pretty much done and I'm feeling really good about it. Um, I love how the Thanksgiving page turned out. I'm glad that there was a sticker that said to gather together because that's just perfect for Thanksgiving. Um, and I like that this page turned out differently than some of the other ones. It's very simple. I hadn't used any glassine bags yet. Um, and here's a closer look at the television episode one. Um, I think it's just kind of fun to include things like that in your album because it doesn't need to be all immaculate photography and big events and you know, huge memories. It can be the small things that you do also, and I think that that's really great. Um, and now just a closer look at these um, little washi strips on this um, lighting of the house picture. And our little cats. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!